everyone, I'm Jen. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you can find out everything about me down below in my about section. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. Um, today, Lena's coming to say hello. <laughs> um, she's been appearing a lot lately for you guys. Uh, today, actually, um, we are going to do a recipe together, and I'm super excited about it. If you guys follow Baked by Melissa on TikTok, you will know her green goddess salad is all the rage, and we are going to make it today. Um, I made it last week, and I kind of eyeballed it because I was in a hurry, and it was the last night that Connor was here to have dinner and stuff, and I was like, meh whatever. So I went and I googled the recipe. That always helps when you don't eyeball stuff. And I will link that down below for you guys. And I made it today. And let me tell you, it is phenomenal. I am, it is, I, I, I changed it a smidge instead of just two cloves of garlic. I added six because two, six garlic, you know, I lose count. And then I added one side of a jalapeno with no seeds just for flavor. Other than that, it's phenomenal and um, I think everyone will like it. I think Bella will definitely like it. Jared will like it. And I think it's a kid-friendly meal to make to help kids get into the kitchen because, yes, there is a lot of chopping, but there's no heat involved. So you could potentially, you know, help them hand over hand, chop up the stuff, or if they're older, they can do it. Or you can just do the chopping and they can do the mixing and the adding of everything else. I keep looking over there because it's over there. Let me grab it and show you guys. So this is the end result. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. It is, um, it's amazing. It is just amazing. It is vegan and it has nutritional yeast in it and it's just amazing. Um, and it was super simple to make and I'm, I'm just, I'm so impressed. Now I understand what all the rage has been about and why she was on like Good Morning America and stuff. This is stellar and it makes me want to run out and make every recipe that she has. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm only going to make like a half recipe of this because, um, well, I don't think everybody in the house will eat it. We will see. Um, so I'm just starting with half of small cabbage and I'm just going to slice it up. So everything is like to a small slice, right? Or dice rather, I should say. And then I just have, I keep a paper towel next to me um, as I go for anything that I don't want or garbage, like like food garbage. And then I just put it in a bag and I bring it to the chickens. Just watch your fingers when you get down to when it's small or thin or low or whatever. Once you get it all sliced, I just have a bowl, right, that I'm just going to put here, and I'm going to start dicing it as I go. So you just want it into like a small bite-sized cubes, if you will. So now that I have like a bunch of it, I'm just going to throw it in the bowl as I go, because it just makes more sense, right, because then pieces go flying and whatever. Now this, this is a little bit time consuming, you know, to make at first, but it's super easy. Your kids can help because no cooking is involved, like no heat, you know, um, and cabbage actually stays pretty good in the fridge. Um, I'll make this and I'll snack on it and use it like as a side dish and force my family to get vegetables in, in a sense. Bella's actually super good about veggies. She loves them. So I will send this to her, with her rather, to school. Anything that's cold, I find, um, I have a better time sending to school with Bella. 
because we try and do like mac and cheese or pasta goulash the next day and stuff but for some reason her container is stinky and like even though it's a it's a good one let me see i thought i had it right here it's like a thermos brand one but for some reason she says by the time she gets to lunch at school her food is cold and soggy and nobody wants to eat cold and soggy food it's, you know and bella, bella can be a little bit picky so i'm just gonna finish chopping the rest of this up garlic jumped on there. Okay. Next up is just some cucumbers. I just buy these little Persian ones because I just, um, like them and bella will actually uh just eat them whole like this she loves raw veggies so like these scraps here i just put over here on this paper towel and then i give them to the chickens so this way they have something because in the winter it's hard to give them you know fresh green stuff so i give them all the kitchen scraps that they're able to have i don't give them garlic or onion or things like that so now for this what i do is i just put these into strips slices however you want to say um i don't bother peeling it these are pre-washed don't get all weird um and then except for the rolly part on one side i'll just you know stack them back up and slice them they get a little out of shape like you know it's very hard to do uniform shapes with something that's slippery because it's wet but again, just watch your little fingies. And then once I get them into strips like this, this is what I do for my canai salad also. Maybe I'll have to show you guys how we make that. We all eat canai salad, all of us. Even picky Jared eats it and he enjoys it. So I'll just do this, you know. So there's one done. You could really only do like two, but everyone likes cucumbers. So. See, sometimes they slide out. with these she eats them raw um she also eats raw garlic uh whatever no judgment right a little weird but to each his own she's a kid and i love that she's not afraid to be herself so what i do is if you notice some of these seem shorter so i will only cut them like i'll tip them and then put these in water and they'll continue to grow so this way we can keep using the same ones over and over again um next is some chives same principle, just chop them up. 
chives are going to go in the dressing as well. So I take the pack and split it in half. Half goes in, half for the dressing. And again, this is called the green goddess salad. Obviously, as now, you can probably tell why. Everything that goes in it is green of some shade. It's supposed to be a vegetarian substitute for um, guacamole. So I'm just putting, I'm, I'm going to de-seed it, but this will just give it a smidge of a zip. And um, we like things a little bit, a little bit. This is purely up to you. You absolutely do not have to do this. Um, jalapenos are not super spicy if you take the seeds out and I'm literally just putting one side of the ribbon. Like I'm not just enough to give it a little bit of some flavor, but that's it because I would not want to make it too spicy and then we don't need it. Okay. So then that's that, right? Next, we're going to start to do the dressing. So the dressing here, I'm going to use, I have a little bullet and in this dressing is supposed to be um, two cloves of garlic, but uh, so two for me is six. That's all, don't judge. And are gonna go the remaining part of the chives that I have. Then it's gonna be one cup of spinach. Hold on, let me get a little lemon. Pioneer lemon, lemon. So um, I made this last week, so okay, we're just gonna like eyeball it because who could ever really like measure spinach? Um, that's weird. And I'm just gonna put a tinge more in. So nobody here eats spinach. So this is one way that I like to literally get it in. So there's that. And then um basil. So I don't know if you guys can see, but right here is my little arrow garden. And I'm literally just going to take basil off of it. Um, so I will be using fresh basil in this that I grew, which is super nice. And yeah, it's supposed to be a cup of basil too. I love when I can grow things on my kitchen counter and then use them like that they're super functioning. So now also I'm using cashews because it's what I've had. It is um, a quarter cup. It's literally like a handful. And then nutritional yeast. So a third cup of this goes in. If I can get the bag open, maybe, maybe not. Ah, okay, so a third cup of this. I'm just going to pour it in. Nutritional yeast, like a lot of people don't know about it. It has so many amazing, great vitamins in it. And then, um, Two lemons go in, but uh, oh, a small shallot. I'm just gonna help this out a little bit. I love shallots. Um, that's just me. Not everybody does. Let's see. It's just me. Don't bark. Silly goose. None. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Um, all my measuring spoons have disappeared because somebody thinks they're for mixing slime. This is a teaspoon. Tablespoon of this, a teaspoon of salt. I use Himalayan salt. Um, I have these little salt boxes because I have different kinds of salt that I use. Like I have sea salt and just, you know, we fancy with salts, I guess. Um, I just feel like salt is wicked 
overused and I would rather give my family healthier salt. If that makes sense. I don't have a lemon thingy, unfortunately. So I just pick them out, the seeds. Some of them get in there. It's not going to, you know, it's not the end of the world. You're not going to die. And then just squeeze it. So there's a bunch of seeds up top. I'll just take them out like that. Last but not least, quarter cup of olive oil. I'm using avocado oil, olive oil, whatever, whatever oil you have available that you would like to use. baby is amazing. I got it at clearance like two years ago at Walmart and I love it. So now I'm just going to let this sit for a second so this can drain off from here so it's not such a mess when I open it. And then get rid of all this stuff. Pour this in. I want to get every last drop. Believe it or not, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to cover it, but it really does. You just enjoy. I'm actually going to put some on some bread and make like an avocado toast type thing. And that's it. It's super easy. And this will, this will last us, you know, this is a decent amount in here. It's just super easy to make. Um, kid friendly because it's not, has any hot stuff. Um, and that's it. So hope you guys enjoy this. It's just super easy to make. Um, Bella actually will eat it. Everybody will eat it. Thank God. And I hope you guys enjoy it. She has a lot of stuff. I'll link her TikTok down below so you can follow it. And I'll also link the recipe in case somebody wants to give it a try. Even if you don't eat your vegetables, you should try this because the way it's done, it's done in a really refreshing way and I think you'll like it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will see you soon. And remember, we recover loudly so those behind us do not suffer in silence. Bye.